This is the one electric car that you probably shouldn't buy. But surprisingly, people actually are buying them. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Fantastic to have so many new subscribers on the channel. Welcome to all you new subscribers and welcome back to everyone else. Make sure if you're new, you check out some of the 650 to 700 plus videos we have created over the last six months alone. Now the 2021 Renault Zoe has received a zero star overall safety rating from the Euro NCAP test, which tested the car for the first time after its 2020 facelift. Now Inside EVs reports that this score is really quite surprising considering that this car was tested way back in 2013 when it was initially launched. And back then in 2013, only eight years ago, it received a five-star safety rating and was one of the best vehicles in its class. It's amazing how far cars have come now over the past eight years when it comes to safety. They have changed dramatically. A lot of people say, well, Chinese cars, they're not that safe. Why would you want to buy one? That's one of the common criticisms I've been hearing. But actually, a lot of the safety in cars comes down to technology and technology in a lot of these Chinese cars is extremely advanced. So they're safer than what you think. But here in this case, technology hasn't changed to keep pace with what's going on with these NCAP tests. And quite rightly so, these NCAP tests do include some of these new safety features, which the Zoe is missing. So what's happened? Well, the Euro NCAP's requirements were upgraded significantly, of course, many times over the years to reflect these changes in expected safety and in terms of the quality of the technology that's out at the moment, that's understandable. Now, this doesn't quite tell the whole story though. Unfortunately, Renault has not improved the safety and it's even removed safety features that were previously available in the pre-facelift car. Euro NCAP specifically says about the seat mounted side airbag in the Zoe, which previously protected the head and thorax, but now only the thorax represents a degradation in occupant protection. Here's what they said. The new Zoe, a facelift introduced in 2020, received several battery improvements, but no added safety. On the contrary, the seat mounted side airbag, which previously protected the head and the thorax has been replaced by a less effective thorax only airbag. Ridiculous, why would they do that? Seems like maybe they wanted to save 50 bucks, so they used a cheaper airbag. Anyway, this represents a degradation in an occupant protection the new Zoe offers poor protection in crashes overall, poor vulnerable road user protection, and lacks meaningful crash avoidance technology, disqualifying it from receiving any stars at all. Overall, the Renault Zoe has very low scores across a wide range of areas. 43% for adult occupant protection, 52% for child occupant protection, 41% for vulnerable road users, and 14% for safety assist features. It's the worst EV result ever for an electric car. So what are these cars tested on? Some of them include a frontal impact test, which is 50% of the width of the car when striking an incoming deformable barrier, both traveling at 50 kilometers an hour or 31 miles per hour. A frontal impact test, the car impacts a rigid full width barrier at 50 kilometers an hour or 31 miles per hour. And a side impact test, a mobile deformable barrier impacts the driver's door at 60 kilometers an hour or 37.3 miles per hour. In addition, they have a pole test. The tested car is propelled sideways into a rigid pole at 32 kilometers an hour or 20 miles per hour. That'd be like driving into a electric power pole in the real world. So are these tests surprising? Very surprising to me. You know why? Because Tesla is currently, I think, the first and second highest rated cars in the world in terms of safety. Now, a lot of the Tesla, anti-Tesla people say, that's just because te electric cars are safer. Well, this proves that that's not the true, that's not the case at all. This proves that an electric car may not be safer than a, an ICE vehicle at all. It could be, of course, but then again, it might not be. And it all comes down to how the car is built structurally and the technology. Clearly, vehicles which are electric can still be built poorly and still have poor technology resulting in poor safety scores. So Renault, yeah, get your shit together. This is kind of embarrassing for electric cars. Generally, electric cars have been performing very well in these safety tests. But in this case, this is honestly so poor 
that you have to say this is a car that customers should not be buying. Zero stars on a safety test, and honestly, they're not even cheap, they're not even affordable. I mean, sure, the price is lower than other electric cars, but when it comes down to it, it's just not worth it. My suggestion, within 12 months, there will be a plethora of new electric cars available in Europe. So if you're in Europe and you're about to buy a Renault Zoe, just hold off a bit longer. There'll be plenty of options within the next few months. Thanks for watching the channel. Look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.